in this video i have explained the characteristics of regular policy method advantages and disadvantages of regular policy method it is also called as a secant method and it is also called as an, a method of false position and this regular policy method we use for the purpose of finding the root of an given equation like the video subscribe to the channel share this video link with your friends gain the knowledge and rule the world like the video share the video link with your friends and write the comments subscribe to the channel gain the knowledge and rule the world let us know about the characteristics of false position method the first one type so to find the root of an equation in the false position method we will be using a method and that method is called as a bracketing method what actually the bracketing method mean the bracketing method means here while calculating the root of an equation we will be considering the intervals and every time we will be considering an interval that is within the values a and b such that f of a and f of b will be of an opposite signs so that will be considered for each of the successive iterations and that process is called as a bracketing method convergence guarantee it means whatever the values which we are going to consider as an intervals based upon that we are going to make the successive iterations to find the root of an equation and whatever the root we are going to get that will be an a correct and it is approximate root for an given equation and it is the guaranteed one that means we always get a root within the given interval then the third one is a rate of convergence linear rate of convergence slow but steady faster than the bisection method so here the convergence will be a linear rate the method which we use takes a more time but it is a steady method and it is a faster as compared to the bisection method in case of a bisection method we need to perform the iteration up to 9 10 even 11 iterations whereas in case of an regular false same method you will get the answer around 6 or 5th even within a 7 or maximum up to 7 iterations we will get the values it is the rate of convergence is linear it is slow but steady and it is faster as compared to the bisection method of finding the root of a given equation the next characteristic accuracy good so whatever the root we are going to find using this method will be accurate one it means it will be almost nearer to the exact root for a given equation then the number of initial guesses here we require two as i told it is a bracketing method we will be considering two values and that is considered as an internal interval based upon that one we are going to find the root of any given equation by repeating the process then sixth one programming effort easy to implement while writing a program to find the root of an equation by using a false position method it is easy approach interpolation it does not require the derivation calculation so here while using the formula you might have observed the formula is a x is equal to a into f of b minus b into f of a divided by f of b minus f of a here we are not going to use any derivations that is we are not going to find the derivative of a given equation and that is the approach which we are going to use and that approach is called as an interpolation it does not require any of the derivations to be done then moving on to the advantages it converges at a faster than a linear rate so it is more rapidly convergent than the bisection method as i told in case of a bisection method we may reach up to 11 or even 12 steps whereas in case of a false position method we will be getting the answer within a 6 or an 7 steps within that itself we will be getting the 
answer. So the rate of convergence is faster as compared to the bisection method. It does not require the use of derivative of the function, something that is not available in a number of applications. So as I told, uh, we will be using a formula. In that formula, we are not going to use any derivative. So it is easier for the purpose of using and there is no any derivation of a function is required. Even in some cases, deriv derivative will not be available. So it is a very good method for the purpose of finding an root for a given equation. Third one, it requires only one function evaluation per iteration as compared with the Newton's method which requires two. In case of a Newton's method which we will be learning in the later classes, they will be having an one function that is an f of x and will be having another one function that is f dos of x. So for both values, for both the function, you need to find the value based upon the value which we get in each iteration. However, as in case of an false position method or a regular false method or a secant method, it requires to calculate only a one function. That means only one value for a given function has to be calculated and it will be the another one will be the effect that will be already calculated one for that purpose every iteration you need to require to find the function for a given value that means you need to find only the f of x value for each of the iteration where you are going to get the value of an x next disadvantages of an false position method the first one it can be very slow as I told it is a faster as compared to the bisection method but it is slow as compared to the other methods which are there for the purpose of finding the root of an given equation example the Newton Raphson method and second disadvantage like a bisection it need an initial interval around the root if we don't have an initial inter interval then you need to calculate the interval and then you need to start with the iteration process without an interval we cannot start the process of finding the root for a given equation it means it requires an initial interval then third one cannot predict number of iterations to reach a given precision so it depends upon the precision what has been asked in the question for example if they ask up to two significant digits after the decimal point or if they ask three, uh, three significant digits after the decimal point or uh, up to four decimal places then the number of iterations will be gone increasing based upon up to which decimal places you need to find the root for a given equation therefore we cannot predict the number of iteration but in most of the cases you may get the value within a seven iterations then fourth disadvantage it is a trial and error method in some cases it may take large time span to calculate the correct route and thereby slowing down the process so since it depends upon the initial interval if the initial interval is very long then the time taken to calculate the correct route will be the more and more number of iterations due to which the process will be slowed and it takes more time for the purpose of calculating the root for an given equation by using false position method it is also called as in secant method it is also called as in regular policy method like the video subscribe to the channel share this video link with your friends gain the knowledge and rule the world